What's up, everybody? I'm just going to do a super quick twin flame reading. Oh, look, express your love. And let go of control issues. All right, let's see. Divine feminine, divine masculine, connection in between. This is a time for healing, okay? So I hope everybody is taking advantage of this time. If you can hear my son in the background, I'm sorry. Give me one card for the divine feminine. Trust. True love. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Because it feels pretty bleak, okay? You probably haven't heard from your masculine. Nothing, okay? Yeah, they just made like the cricket sound. <laughs> All right, give me one card for the divine masculine currently. Forgiving and learning and playful. So the divine masculine is having fun and learning to forgive themselves, learning to forgive others, okay? Definitely uh, in separation from the feminine. All right, give me one card for the connection currently getting to know each other, and healing family issues. <sighs> He's trying to figure out a playful way to approach you, Divine Feminine, to ask for your forgiveness as well. That's the other thing that they just gave me here. Because I'm not even going to lie. Like, I got, like, a little bit turbed. All right, let's see. One card for the Divine Feminine. Yeah. There's the offer. There's the new beginning. You've been giving and been given a new opportunity. Some of you are getting some sort of job offer, offer, new job offer, gaining money, but it's, it feels like a new beginning. It feels more like a new beginning. All right. Tell me more about this divine masculine, please. Yeah. See, he's trying to, he feels bad. This divine masculine, this is why he's trying to be playful. This is why he's trying to come up with a way to this is your advice. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Because right now, this divine masculine is stuck like Chuck. All right. So your advice, divine masculine, is to be playful. And um, yeah, I feel like this divine masculine is... Okay, I just got drawn to the fact that this divine masculine is naked, okay, except for the sash. So I feel like he's been like, he wants to like bear his soul to you. Like he's basically, he's been stripped down to nothing as well. I feel like this divine masculine has gone through a lot of loss, okay, which is why he's sitting here like this. So don't be mad about him having fun. All right. Yeah. He's going through massive healing. Okay. But this also means that you are on the right path to buy masculine. Okay. For whatever has been transpiring in your life. Yeah. This guy's opening up for love. Like he's about to express his love. You see how this, his shield is open. He's no longer going to hide his love. All right. Your advice is to Step towards the Divine Feminine in a playful way and ask for forgiveness. They're, they're coming to ask for forgiveness. They need healing from you. They need forgiveness from you. <sighs> it 
It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. All right. So I also feel that there's loss. Some some of you, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, have gone through um, recent loss, like of father figures, mother figures, if not your mother and your father. Okay. And... A lot of, yeah, see, because right now there's a there's a big healing going on, all right? This is what this separation is for. This this guy's like, this is, has a lot to do with um, past life energy as well. This time right now is, is really needed to bond with your family, be with your kids if you have them. Forgive yourself for not being the parent that you have wanted to be up until now. It's like now you just start being that parent. That's what I just heard. So somebody needed to hear that. All right. Give me one card for the connection currently. Yeah. Movement forward towards the nine of cups. That's towards emotional fulfillment. It's positive movement forward. Wow. Okay, so let's get three advice cards here. I'm seeing be patient and nurture yourself. Wasn't that what we just said? I'm hearing that song. That's how you know you fucked up. That's how you know that you fucked up or messed up, however it goes. All right. One advice card for Divine Feminines. Ask with sincerity and say no. Okay, so this is about asking for help. They said divine guidance. Because some divine feminine are really um, in this energy of trying to control the situation. This is why you're being told to have trust. There is this new beginning coming, okay? And if you really want help, you need to ask like you sincerely want it. Okay, instead of just like, Ugh, help me, you know, like, take the time, meditate, make sure you're grounding yourself and say, and say no, it's to these people, places and things that you have already been shown don't work for you. Yeah, do what you love. Let's see. Give me one more card for this ask with sincerity. Jeez. Yeah, see, forgive and forget. Yeah, okay, they're, they even just said some Divine Feminine are being very demanding when speaking with their their counterparts. Okay, and then it says take the lead in your life. Face your shadow. I feel like this has to do with vulnerability here, okay, Divine Feminine. And tune out distractions. Yeah, this is time to, your, your new opportunity is here, but you have to let go of the past, okay? This, this take the lead is like take a step out in faith, and then the universe is going to catch you. All right, give me advice here for Divine Masculine. Engage higher reason and face your adversities. Okay, so there's definite mirroring going on here. So divine masculine, you're being asked to look at the pic the look at things from a bigger picture and face your fears. Think things through. I feel like uh, this divine masculine may be. Um, it's like you're you're participating in the chaos that's in your life and possibly this, you're getting this awareness here. And so it's like this is why you're being advised to engage in higher reason. It's like you have to be the, the, the bigger person. You are the person that is here to be the example to the others of other or to those that are surrounding you causing like some sort of conflict here. And I feel like you're really afraid to go against the crowd here. 
because this is good. It's like when you do this big shift, it's like a big shift in your life. But this is what I feel brings in your healing. Yeah, see? Bust out of your cocoon. See? Love yourself. And I feel like you standing up for yourself and again, like, like not feeding into the chaos that's around you. It's like, this is what helps you move through this energy and grow. Cause, cause you're learning to love yourself. All right. Give me one card for the connection currently, please. Reevaluate your priorities. This is what you're both doing. Yeah, you're both learning how to say no to people, places, and things that just no longer serve you in your life. You're learning to let go of the anger and the resentment. Okay, you're. I feel like both of you are are being triggered. This is why, um, like for the rest of the month, it's like just chill, be kind to yourself. Okay, because this is not easy energy whatsoever. You're letting go of, um, yeah, mega soul ties, deep soul ties that, um, are, that have been, like, that are attachment. That's what, that's what they said. Okay. They showed me the devil card and they said attachments. It's like your, this is what you're letting go. You're, you're like seeing things for the first time, but this, it's like, don't get mad. Don't get even. It's just time to forgive it and forget it and move forward. You both pretty much basically got the same. You're definitely mirroring each other. All right, they so said, please. What do you need to release? Exactly. And this says nothing will come of the situation. That's my card for worst case scenario is just not going to happen. And you're both thinking of the worst case scenario. Look, I'm ending it here. A new romantic cycle begins. This is what this shift, it's like once you both let go, it's like the next phase, okay? And you just have to trust this, all right? You just have to trust that this is happening, all right? But this is the next phase of your, pro this is what's coming next, okay? Yeah, it's it. work through your fears and surrender to the divine. It's time to release this ne negativity. Don't let your past hold you back, okay? Because you're both kind of in fear mode right now, which is why there's this separation, all right? But because you separated, that's what's also moving uh, this connection forward, okay? Because you guys are going through the next phase, all right? This, These twin flame connections, I will constantly remind you, more than anything, are for your soul growth, okay? You trigger each other's soul growth. There is union coming, okay? But the the unions that, that you guys have had um, with each other in the past has been extremely toxic and had to be burned to the ground. And that is pretty much what's going on right now, okay? So Divine Feminine, work on this releasing your control and forgiving and forgetting, Okay? Divine Masculine, it's time for you to bust out of, out of your cocoon, okay? And remember that you are the Divine Masculine, all right? It, I know it's hard, all right? I, I just, I know, I feel for you, okay? I, I have been here. Every Divine Feminine, well, I can't say, I can't speak for every Divine Feminine, but I know that I have been here, okay? When, when waking up to your spiritual path and doing spiritual growth, like, it, it, it is not like sunshines, roses, and unicorns, all right? It fucking hurts. Why? Because you're going against everything that you've ever been taught in your life. And you're going against the grain of everybody that's in your life. But what you are going towards is your heart. I didn't really find out how tough I was. I mean, I had an idea that I was kind of tough, you know, but I didn't really find out how much 
strength and courage I actually had until all I was down to is just me and my faith. And I've been down to me and my faith plenty. Work through your fears and surrender to the divine. A new, this is what brings in the balance, okay? This is what brings in this new romantic cycle. Trust the process, but you have to release the fear first. Okay, this time is to reevaluate your priorities, okay? Everything that you've stood for before is being challenged again. Yeah, see? A time for healing. A win-win forecast is, yeah, a win-win forecast. Prosperity lies ahead. Your lo you and your loved ones are, are safe. All right. Give me one more. Yeah. New love for yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's what you both are doing. This is what's coming for you. New love. A new love experience. Yeah. It's the honeymoon card. Yeah, this is this is beautiful. Go with it, guys. All right, be good to yourself for the rest of the weekend, for the rest of July. I feel like most of this is going to come um, more in August. Yeah, eight eight. I love you guys. Have an amazing day.